Hey gang, Joe here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install an additional electrical outlet. So first things first, we need some materials and when we need an outlet box, we need an old work outlet box that has these little fins on it like this that allows it to snug up to the drywall. So an old work outlet box. Then if you want an outlet, you need the right outlet. 15 amp outlet is pretty standard. And in my case, I had my cool LED light I was gonna install, so I needed that. And then of course we need the trim cover for the outlet or the light. And this one's for my light. And then we need wire. Typically you need Romex here, but I'm showing you three wires, 14 gauge wire is typical in a house. And you may need some wire nuts and here's just a few there. So first thing I want to do is turn off the power to my outlet, flip the breaker, make sure I don't have power, it's gone. Then what I want to do is dismount the outlet that I'm going to borrow power from. So I take it apart, it's just a few screws to pull it out of the wall, and you pull the outlet out, and then you have to disconnect the wires. These are a little tricky because they have these press clamps. You take a skinny screwdriver, stick it in a quick release hole while pulling the wire, stick it in, pull the wire. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but you get the hang of it after doing it a few times. So I pull all the wires out except for the ground wire. I'm going to leave that on because I'm going to reuse it. And now I can see where the wires are coming from and it looks like they're coming up from above. That means there's wires behind the wall and I gotta be careful of those wires if I'm gonna put my light there. Now I wanna find out where any obstructions are. I'm looking for studs. There's gonna be a stud next to the existing light box. So I know that, but I make a mark of it. And then there's probably gonna be another stud over towards the right, about 16 inches or so. And of course there's another stud there and those studs are gonna run up and down the length of the wall. So my space is in between those studs where I can put my light. And I wanna put it right above the existing outlet. And that's where I'm gonna put my light. So now I'm gonna just use my level to get a better reference of where the stud is and just make a mark. And then I'm gonna trace around the outlet box so I know where to cut the hole. And you can see I'm a little off that line I drew there just to make sure I don't hit the stud. So to fine tune my marks, I use a level and finish off my straight lines. And then I take a razor and the level and I just score marks on my lines. It actually took several passes to do this. I'm just showing a quick pass. So I make my score marks all the way around nice and deep. And then I basically just pop a hole using the back end of a screwdriver. and then I proceed to clean out the hole and get all the drywall nasties out of there. So now what I wanna do is pop a hole in the back of the box below, and then I'm gonna thread my wires up through the bottom box up to the hole I just made. You see I wrapped some electrical tape around my wires to add insulation. Again, you should be using Romex for this. I'm gonna pop a hole in the new box. So I'm gonna thread my new wires through there, and then I can go ahead and push the box into the hole, and then I can go ahead and snug up the, the mounting screws to, to snug it up to the wall there. So now if you're gonna install an outlet, you gotta put the wires on the right thing. A red wire or black is gonna go to the gold side. The white wire is gonna go to the silver side, and the green or copper is gonna go to the green on the plug. That's how you'd install an outlet. Now I'm just giving myself some more slack in my wires here so I can work with them. I'm gonna strip the ends off. And then I'm gonna install my light and it's just like an outlet. I'm gonna take the ground, put it to the ground screw, screw that down. And I'm gonna take my red wire, again, which is often black. And I'm gonna put that behind the black screw in this case. It would usually be gold, snug that down. I'm gonna take my white wire and I'm gonna put it behind the silver screw. I'm gonna snug that down. And basically now my light is wired up and I simply need to push the wires back in the box and secure the light to the box using the screws provided with it. So you just snug those up nice and tight 
and then you put the nifty trim on to make it look nice and finished and that's just a couple of screws screw it down and it is good to go looks pretty sweet so now we got to mess down here now we got to make sure all our wires match we strip them off again and we want to make sure they all match so we want to hook my the ground up to the existing ground so I'm just going to go ahead and wire nut the ground wire onto the grounds in the box and then I want to take all my hots the two blacks and the reds and match them together and the thing is we want to make sure the power that's coming in goes out to the other outlets into my new outlet and then same thing with the white so I'm going to stick the white wires all together on the white side I'm going to use the quick pins in the back of the outlet and then I'm going to take my third white wire make a loop and screw it down to the screw on the silver side. And what this essentially has done is now all the white wires are touching each other. So now we have power going to all of the wires. And we're gonna do the same thing on the power side. We're gonna stick the black wires in the holes. And then we're gonna take my red wire, which also could be a black wire, and I'm gonna bend it over. And I'm gonna go ahead and screw it down to one of the gold screws. And so now our hot wire is going up to the light is secured. So now we have all our wires are connected and our circuit is complete. So we got to put the plug back in the wall, screw it down, and then we need to add our nifty sexy trim cover, screw that down. And basically we are done. Now we got to give it the test here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, got my tester in there. I'm going to flip the breaker. And boom, I got power to the circuit, obviously, and then the light had a little delay, the light came on, so it worked perfectly. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing.